today we are going to learn how to make a DVD, a simple DVD using iDVD. And um, I say simple because iDVD has the capability of creating nice motion menus, a scene selection, whatever you want uh, using that program. However, we just want to be able to create a DVD that starts the program from the beginning and ends with the program and does not go back to a menu. So what I want to do first though is set chapter markers. Even though we're not going to have a scene selection, I do want people to have the ability to uh, use their ch chapter forward buttons on their remote controls to go to different sections of the video. So what we'll want to do is I usually set a chapter marker at the very beginning and hit M. You hit M two times and you click on the button add chapter marker. I would normally name the chapter marker but since we are not going to have a scene selection I'm going to go ahead and skip that and hit OK. And I'm going to go to the next spot in my timeline which would be probably here and hit M. You hit M two times and then hit add chapter marker Okay, so now we set our chapter markers, which you can see are these little green tabs here on your timeline. And what you're going to want to do is go up to File, Export. Instead of QuickTime Conversion, we're going to use QuickTime Movie. You're going to get the pop-up window of where to save this file. And so you're going to want to pick a spot that you want to save it in. And so I'm going to save it in here. I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it DVD October Show and hit create. Um, now the name of the file, I'll just call it October Await. And what you're going to want to make sure you have selected is audio and video. And for markers, we are going to use chapter markers, so we'll make sure that that is selected. There's one more box that you can select, and that's make movie self-contained. Um, I'm not worried about needing to bring this DVD project to another computer or things like that, so I'm just going to deselect that um, and hit save. And it'll take a couple of... Uh, minutes depending on how fast your computer is and how long your project is. Okay, so now we are going to open up iDVD and we're going to hit create a new project and we're going to be queued to enter in a name so we'll call it October 08 DVD and I'm going to go ahead and put it in that folder that I had already created uh, which says DVD October Show and we see there's that um, QuickTime movie file that I had already created. This is a standard definition DVD. We didn't shoot anything in widescreen so we want the perspective to be just 4 by 3 so I'm going to hit create and iDVD opens up and I bring that volume down. A lot of the songs you'll probably notice are going to annoy you so you might want to select that button just to shut everything off or you can uh, bring the volume all the way down so you don't have to listen to it over and over and over. Um, the, the next thing that I do, there's a lot of variety of of um, motion menus and things like that in iDVD but since I do not want to use them at this time if you are a SPNN member you actually want to submit a simple DVD that just starts the program at the very beginning and ends with the program the very last frame of the program so I'm going to select um, actually you'd probably wonder why I would need to select uh, a background at all but I noticed that at the end of the DVD, 
the simple DVD that we create, for some reason it, it flashes to a screen, like just one frame. It, and I don't no, notice it all the time, but because I do notice it, I pick something that has a very simple background. Let's see, I think we have to open up the inspector. So you go up to view and show inspector. I want to replace that image with the with the black picture that we created. We're going to remain still on anything. Might as well let it be black. So I'm going to close that. And if we were to preview this again, if I were to go ahead and click one more chapter marker, you see it goes to black instead of that main menu. So the other thing that I check is under project info, under project in the tab. I make sure that it says NTSC. I'm, I usually choose professional quality, standard 4x3, and I make sure that it's a single layer DVD. Now it looks like my DVD is ready to burn. And because I have two drives, I have to select which drive I want to burn it in. So. That probably might not be something that will pop up for, for you if you're an Access user. Actually, it won't. Um, but it's asking me to insert a recordable disk. And my computer can take both plus R media or minus R media. So just make sure that whichever your computer can do, that that's what you have. And now it's detecting the disk. And if you noticed, it said processing me process menus. It really just skipped right through that. Usually that takes quite a bit of time to encode the menus, but we didn't have any. Um, and so now it's already processing the movie. It does say that the time remaining is 36 minutes, so we're going to wait and let this uh, DVD cook. And you see it cues you. Your disk has been created. If you want to create another disk, insert disk now. What you don't want to do is do not push done. Unless you are done uh, making your burns, you can hit done. But if you want to make more, I think our tendency is to want to click done, meaning OK. I'm going to put in another disk. But done in this case means you're done completely. And that's it for creating a DVD. And we are done for today. And hopefully you are going to enjoy listening to your DVD. All right. Bye-bye.